Hey, hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss one of the important topic in Pega. So that is like, uh, so what is the purpose of the key store? And uh, how exactly we can implement this in Pega? So generally, if you see, if you want to connect to the, any of the external systems. Okay, so we'll be using like connect soap or connect rest to something like that to retrieve the data from external systems. That means the service provider is going to give the endpoint URL by which we are going to connect to the external system and we are going to retrieve the data. But the endpoint URL when they are giving, generally we will be having two types of the endpoint URLs. Okay, so they are like, one will be followed by HTTP and the other one, other one would be followed by HTTPS. Okay, I hope you all know that what is the main difference between HTTP and HTTPS. Okay, hypertest transport protocol and hypertest transport protocol with security. Okay, which is the more secured. So what exactly the difference? And I just to give a brief idea. So that means the information which you are passing to the external systems to retrieve the data. Either, for example, I would like to pass customer ID and I would like to get the customer details for that particular customer ID. Otherwise, I will, I will give the loan number. And for that particular loan number, I will be retrieving the loan details. Okay, whether it is the car loan, otherwise house loan or else personal loan, whatever it is. So that means the request which you are passing, that is going to the service provider and then the service provider is returning the particular details to you. So in this, the information which it is passing from service provider, okay, to the requester, it may go in the normal way, in the normal text format. In between, there is a possibility of hacking, okay. so. Our information may hacked by various people and they may use it for different purposes. That is the reason why what we want to do is, if it is HTTPS, this is like a more secured. In general, when, when you open any of the website also, okay, whether it is icsabank.com or else, whatever it is. You see. This will be like a HTTPS. Okay, so the ICICI bank will be HTTPS. Even in the same way, if you open any of the HDFC bank also. See here, it will be HTTPS. And when you open that, the link here, if you observe, you will be seeing it like a lock icon. This shows that this is secured. Okay, this shows that this is a secured one. And here that link will be always follow, followed by yes here. You see, HTTPS. So the secured one will be always having the link icon. This link icon indicates this is a trusted website. Okay, so now our service provider has given one endpoint URL which is having the HTTPS. So if you want to connect to this HTTPS link, okay, how exactly you can connect? So how exactly we are going to communicate to the service provider, okay? So that means the endpoint URL which is given by the user, okay, if it is having HTTPS, that user also will provide the JKS file, okay? So the JKS file will be having, okay, the security one which we need to configure in Pika. So how exactly we can configure that? Now, first of all, in case if you are the service provider, for example, the Pega is providing the customer details. Okay, in that case, along with the endpoint URL which you are giving, you also have to provide your certificate file. Okay, the security, security certificate file you have to provide. How you can generate that security certificate file means here for our website, beside you will be having this lock icon, right? So click on that link and here you will be having 
connection is secure. Click on this. And here you will be having certificate is valid. Click on this. And here it is showing that the complete details about that website and security information. General, right now it is the cloud environment. So which is the Amazon one. Now here we will be having the details tab. Under the details tab here we can see which is that certificate, version, serial number, everything will be there. Now we have to export it. Okay, when you are exporting here, you can provide the name for this certificate. Like for example, I'm going to be creating one loan. Okay, for example, Kotak Personal Loan. Okay, I'm creating a certificate with Kotak Personal Loan. Save it. Okay, now this got saved. So I saved in the downloads. You see Kotak Personal Loan, which is created. So this Kotak Personal Loan security file, it's got created. You see Kotak Personal Loan. Now, along with the endpoint URL, which you would like to give it to the requester, you need to pause this certificate file also okay and once the security file is created so what you have to do in pega if you are the requester you have to create the security file and then key store file okay so here they are under the category of security under the security we will be having key store Okay, you see here you have to create one new key store file. Product personal loan. No. So under that Kotak personal loan, then here you need to import that certificate. So how exactly you can import by selecting upload file? Okay. Under the upload file here, while importing, now what is this format of this particular downloaded certificate? This file format is, you see, CRT. This is the CRT file. Okay, type of file is the CRT, which is a certificate. Now, this certificate directly you cannot refer. Here, you can either select something called JKS file. Okay, so how you can select this JKS file? This is a certificate file, right? Now, if you want to make it as a JKS file, you should have some software like Keystore Explorer. Okay, this is the Keystore Explorer, which you can import. And then this is this. Okay, here you can select new. You see, select the type of the new Keystore file. Now I would like to create a JKS. Okay. So here I have selected in the Key Store Explorer. Okay, in the Key Store Explorer, which I downloaded, this is for converting our certificate into JKS format. Okay, Key Store Explorer is used for converting Key Store into JKS format. Okay, so after selecting new, now here import trusted certificate. Here I am selecting Kotak personal loan. Okay, so now the JKS file will be created. Okay, I am giving the alias for this file, for the JKS file. It is imported. After importing, now if you save it, it will also ask you that provide the name. So I am giving Kotak personal loan on as a password Kotak personal loan save it now it is asking the exporting Kotak loan JKS save it okay so now we created this 
So let me tell you first what we have done. We have created the then converted to JKS file to restore explorer to it. Now in Pega create So in Pega, we'll be creating key store. Create key store file. Okay. So after create, we are uploading that. Upload, choose file. You see. JKS, upload file. And then the key store type it is JKS file. Okay. Then it is asking key store password. So the password which we have given while creating this key store personal load. In case if I give wrong work password, you see, see it is being tampered or password was incorrect. So give the correct one, a key store. Check. Personal phone. Now if you save it with the valid password, you see now it's got saved. So after creating this key store, now what we have to do, we have to create the Web service security profile. Why? Because key store will be always referred from the web service security only. Okay. So let's create a new key store and a new WS security. So that is I am giving loan. security file short description and name both should be same or you can give different also okay now we have created ws hyphen security kotak personal loan under this you can you have to go to the key store here you need to select key store what we have created we have created kotak personal loan Okay, same thing you can give in the trust store as well. Okay, now save it. Okay, so after this, now we have the WS hyphen security file also. Now this WS security file will be referred from. or connector and so or services so for example I have one PVA apply for loan this is one of the connect so which I have created Okay, in this connect so we have something called advanced. Under the advanced, you will be having, you see, security profile. Okay, so under the security profile, we have to refer that. Kotak personal loan web service security profile. See, now save it. This is the connect so in the same way we have to apply under the service so as well. Okay, so not long.
this is the soap service so here also in the advanced one okay so here you see Vortec personal loan from the security service so we have to save this okay once if you save this now if you test it then it will be connected Okay, so which we already refer, then if you do the test connectivity, it will be successful. Okay, so this is the way we can make our connector more secured. Okay, so for stop hacking or else even for SQL injection kind of the things, okay, special characters or something like that, okay, which is going to be having the issues. So all those things is going to be have. So as your application is more secured, even the people will trust your website or your service so this is the way so i hope you are clear so mainly if you may if you want to make your service is more secure that is https first we need to create the certificate file so how we will be creating the certificate file by selecting this icon and then Connection is secure and then certificate is valid and then details and then export. Okay, so after that, we need to convert to the JKS file. For converting JKS, we should have this key store explorer and here we need to create new and again import. Okay, import trusted certificate and then save it. So once after saving, we need to create the key store file in pega okay so we need to create the key store file in pega so we just created cortex personal loan and after creating the key store this key store must be referred from the ws-security file okay so this is the ws-security file which we created so from the ws-security we will be selecting the key store and trust store Okay, and then after creating the WS security, then we need to refer this WS security from the SOAP or REST service and connector. So by which both will be having that. So they, they are like a token by which both will be communicated. So whenever the request goes to the service, the service will be identified this by this token. And from the service, again, if the response returns to the connector, Again, the connector will be identified with the same keys. So the communication will be happening between both of them. So that's all guys. So this is the topic which is most important and one of the security part of the application. So thank you guys. So if you have any queries, you can comment it up or you can ping in the chat. Okay. And please like, share and subscribe if you like my topic.